Hey guys, it's Tuesday morning and uh, we're in the book of Genesis chapter 28 and uh, yesterday we spoke about Jacob and Esau and how that Esau very stupidly sold his birthright to his younger smooth brother uh, for a pot of stew. Well, sometimes if we're honest, we sell our blessing of God for less than that. But uh, we spoke about that yesterday. I want to talk about Jacob today because Jacob needed now, after having stolen the birthright, he needed to pass the test, I guess, of trouble. You see, when you do stuff like he did, your conscience gets you, you make people angry, and you better run. You better head for the hills. And so Jacob angered Esau because of what he had done. Esau did not take that deal seriously. And when he lost his birthright, he was obviously really, really fired up and angry. Instead of hunting animals, he was now hunting his brother. And his brother head for the hills and he was tired one day. And as he was running, he lay down, he took a stone and he put his head upon the stone and he went to sleep. And he had this incredible vision of God, of a ladder going up to heaven and angels walking up and down the ladder. It's a beautiful vision. You'll read it, Genesis 28. And God making a promise to Isaac in the midst, making a promise to Jacob that his sons would still be a blessing to the world and that all people would be blessed through him. And then in verse 16, he wakes up from his dream and his vision and he says this. He said, surely the Lord was in this place and I knew it not. You see, people, things are not always as they appear to be. He thought he was in trouble. He thought that Esau was going to get him. He thought that it was like the end. Well, he was in trouble, but it certainly was not the end. You see, in the midst of trouble, God has an incredible way of, of bringing vision to people who run, people who are in trouble. Now, it's the craziest thing that God would do this, but God has, I believe, an amazing way of speaking to us in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the trial, in the midst of the testing, in the midst of the trouble. Listen carefully for the voice of God. Sometimes even trouble that you cause yourself, sometimes even storms that you are the originator of, they're not, they're not somebody else's deal, they're not God's deal, they're your deal. God still is very able and wanting to speak to you in the midst of that kind of trouble. Some of the greatest leaders of all time have come out of trouble. In fact, most of the great leaders have come out of periods of, of troubled times. Look at some of the, the wars that have been fought and those here heroic men and women who have come out and stood their ground and, and been an example and, and it was all birthed in trouble. God very seldom raises the strategic or, or significant leaders up in a time of comfort. Trouble is the birthplace of a vision. Now, if we look at his vision, God gave him a great promise and it was awesome. Think for a moment of the Apostle Paul. The book of Ephesians is my favorite book. Are we beginning to look at that on in, in a Wednesday night at church? If you want to come, you can join us there. It's awesome. But the book of Ephesians was written in a time of trouble in Paul's life. He was in prison and it wasn't a nice, comfortable prison. It was a mean and nasty place. And yet Paul did his best work coming out of prison. You see, in the midst of trouble, this man was able to take the trouble, put it into perspective and say, God, obviously I'm here for a reason and I'm going to find that reason and I invite you to use me to do the work you've called me to do. Trouble can be a great birthplace for leadership. It can be a great birthplace for you to be able to say the same thing that Jacob said. Surely God was in this place and I knew it not. And he took that stone that he put his head upon when he slept and he had the vision. And he put it on the ground as an altar to the Lord and he poured oil on it as a significant place. He called it Bethel because that's the place that God spoke to him in the midst of trouble. Now, if you look at your life today. Maybe there's trouble brewing. Maybe you're in the midst of trouble. Don't run from it. Maybe this is an opportunity for you today to say, God, have you got something to say to me in the midst of my troubled and testing time? Have you got something that you want to say to me that you could never ordinarily say in other or comfortable times? Listen carefully for the voice of God today in a time of trouble. And then I bet you, I'd put money on it if I were a gambler, that you will say the same thing as he said. 
you'll begin to say, wow, God was in this place. At a time of trouble, God was in this place, and I knew it not, but now I know it. I hope you find that to be your experience. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.